So my brother gave me this uh, gas floater and told me to link it to an Arduino. It's a gas floater from his car. So he wanted a digital display. So here's what you're gonna do. First of all, I tried to figure out how this uh, gas floater thing works. It's actually just a potentiometer. There's the two cables of it. Let me focus. So yeah, when I tried to test it with a multimeter, this is the value it gave me. This is when it's uh, all down. It gave me 310. And when it's all up, it gives me approximately 15. So we're gonna keep that in mind. It's very important to, in our uh, in our project. Moving on. So. Uh, in this project I'll be using this uh, seven segment display because my brother didn't want me to use these four. It's actually very accurate if I use these ones but my brother didn't like it because uh, it uses multiplexing and I'm gonna show you that in another video. So we're, gonna, we're just gonna stick with this one. Cable wise this is how it's going to work. We link the VCC to another resistor and from that to our potentiometer and to the ground. This link in the middle is what we actually need, so this is the analog input. So by his basic electronics, this uh, voltage right here from A0 to the ground is equal to our potentiometer from uh, this point to the ground. So it's by a, a, a law called uh, voltage divider. We only need this resistor so we don't get always 5 volts on this potentiometer, so that's just basic electronics. So I'm going to do a full video on the uh, voltage dividers. After that I needed to figure out how this 7 segment display works. So it turns out it's very basic. This is the A, B, C, D which are these segments right here. So uh, this is our dot here. So if we want them to work, if we want any segment to work, we just have to give this, com this common cathode A0 and any other one uh, A1. So it turns on. Uh, it's very important to keep in mind that the cathode, uh, that the common cathode works on everyone. If the, if the common cathode is set to one, to logical one, nothing is going to work here. So we gotta keep that in mind. Now for our code, this is what are we going to use. So I'll explain everything now. These ints are uh, which pins are we going to use. The A segment is for 2, B, C, D. This is the dot. This is the common cathode. So this is an, an, an LED. This uh, some states. This is our input and the delay time. I'm going to explain everything in a moment. We're going to first set up our serial monitor to uh, 9600 volts. And we're going to set every other pin to an output. The common cathode, as we said, needs to be set to low so everything works. This is the function that's going to display our digits. It receives an integer from uh, 0 to 9. First of all it sets uh, everything to low. Then according to the number uh, that it's got, it's gonna set uh, the segments to high. So it's, it's basically just going to uh, display the corresponding digit. So for our main loop, uh, Val is the analog read from the input, which is the potentiometer. Then we are going to map that from a value from 523 to 44. Because the other resistor I'm using has a value of 330 ohms. So uh, our value goes from 500, which is the bottom, and uh, to 44, which is the top. Which now goes, or which uh, in return goes from 0 to 10. I'm going to explain how this works. Basically, if our uh, given value is 523, it gives us a 0 to return. And if our value is 44, uh, it gives us a 10. So it's not an integer, it's a, it's a float from 0 to 10. I'm going to round it uh, in just a bit and I'm going to turn it into an integer. So if our value is, uh, I don't know, like uh, 200 or something, it's gonna give us back uh, a value like 5. So it's uh, a linear equation. We're going to go back to these lines later. I'm just gonna explain the uh, how the main loop works. 
as I said, we are going to round our uh, float value we received here. I'm just going to print them out so I can see them, uh, just to uh, check if the, everything is uh, is alright. After we map the value of uh, the analog read, uh, we're gonna, I, I'm going to explain this later. I'm just going to round the value and turn it to an integer. So uh, this is going to just display it so I can uh, check if everything goes right. I'm going to explain this later, this, this, this. And simply we're just going to display the digits. The corresponding digit is uh, from 0 to 9. Uh, if the value is 10, it's just gonna go, going to uh, display 9. Okay, so now I'm going to go back and explain these what these lines mean. First, if n is superior to 9, display uh, this what... Uh, th we said this is a dot, so set it to high. This is just basically means that uh, the gas tank is full. So if n is uh, lower than 2, we are just going to set uh, an LED light to high. <coughs> so, the second thing is, if N uh, is uh, less than 2, then digital right, orange high. So this is just an LED light. Uh, it's going to uh, light up when the gas, tech is, the gas is running low. So just uh, an indication to the driver. Then, moving on, if N is less than one. I'm going to make the whole uh, the whole display flash. So just going to flash zero because it's inferior to. Okay. The last thing is is if n is less than one, I'm going to change the delay time, which is five seconds, because uh, I need this to flash now. So if uh, state of the cathode is zero, it means the uh, everything is working then make it high so uh, so the whole display turns off and then set the state of the cathode this this integer to 1 so we know that uh, it's working now it's uh, set to high now then else if the state of the cathode is 1 then turn it off then put it to, put it to 0 so it's uh, working again so it just uh, this one is just a flash Lastly, if the n is superior to zero, uh, we're just gonna give uh, back the delay time to five five thousand, which is five seconds. I'm gonna set the cathode to low, so everything works fine. And uh, finally, display digit and uh, works on. So we're gonna test this code now and see how it works. So I uploaded the code to the Arduino. Now we are going to test it. So uh, I'm holding the uh, floater up. The value is five. And then uh, and now it's four, so we're gonna go down a bit. The value becomes two. We're gonna go up. Let's see how it turns. It goes to seven. So if I go try to go to one, uh, the LED flashes. Uh, the LED turns on because we set it to uh, if the value is uh, less than two. So if we go to zero, this is what happens. The LED st is still on, and now the uh, zero is flashing. As we said in the code, I set the delay time to 750 milliseconds. So if we go back, if we lift it up, it goes to one, and now it goes to nine. So I think our code is good, our realization is good. So thank you for watching. See you in the, in the next project.